Hi there, this is Unmesh from Perfect, and today I'm excited to show you how to remove noise in shadows and this is true noise removal. This is not like fake software noise removal by kind of merging the pixels or blurring it out. None of that at all. There's a photography side to it and also a post processing side to it. And we're going to do that in Lightroom very easily and I'm going to show you how. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Lightroom and we have a picture of this fresco and as you can see, the shadows are very dark. Now, if I go to the basic panel and try to increase the shadows have a look, it shows up a lot of noise, a ton of noise. This is not usable at all. Of course, highlights are something which you can just drag it down and have the details and have no noise. However, shadows are the ones that cause problems. Yes, you can have noise in the highlights, but shadows really, really show up a lot of noise. Plus, if you increase the exposure, damn, it looks totally bad. So here is the tip. Do not capture one exposure in these situations. So let's reset it. Now, let me show you something truly interesting. If I increase the exposure all the way to the right, have a look at the number. It's plus five. Just keep that in mind for a second. Just keep that in mind and follow along. This will surprise you. All right. Now, what I have done is if I go to the library, you will see that I've captured three exposure. One bright, so that the shadows are brightened. One dark, this one, and one medium. Okay, so in one, I exposed for the shadows, and in one, I exposed for the highlights, and one is between them. However, for the latest versions of Lightroom and for the latest algorithm, Lightroom works best with just two. You don't need more than that. However, that's debatable. But from what I have seen personally is that two works fine. In one of the images, you expose for the highlights. In this case, that is the fresco. And in the other image, you expose for the shadows. Okay. So all we have to do, HDR is not an effect. HDR is just increasing the dynamic range and therefore it's called high dynamic range. Remember the number five. Okay, so we're going to select both of them. Select one, hold the control key or the command key, select the other one. Make sure both of them are selected. Right click and go to photo merge and click on HDR. That's going to show you HDR preview. Now there's D ghost amount. What is D ghost? If both of your images have moving subjects, for example, if that's a tourist place and in the second image, of course, the tourist moved, then you might want to increase the deghost amount to low, medium or high. It tries to remove them, but in this case, there's no moving parts. So I'm going to keep it none. Make sure auto align is checked. We don't need auto settings. Okay. Just merge it. Auto settings is just pressing the auto button in the basic panel. We don't need that. We want to do it ourselves. So it's creating the HDR. As you can see, this is the status and it's merging both of those exposures and increasing the dynamic range. So here we have the HDR image. This is aligned. Now have a look. Not much difference you can see from the previous images. However, if you go to the develop module by clicking on develop or pressing the D key, if you increase the shadows, have a look at the shadows. Yes, it has some noise, but have a look at the noise and compare it with the previous one, compare it with this one. Okay. In this, if we increase the shadows, have a look. If we increase the exposure, totally unusable. Have a look at this one that we did right now. See the comparison, right? It's amazing. If we had captured an even higher dynamic range, for example, if we had truly exposed for the shadows even more, or in other words, if we had made the shadows even more brighter while photographing it and the highlights even more darker, this would have given a much better result, but that is fine. It works amazing for me. I don't need so much of shadows anyway. That was just to show you, right? I would increase just a little bit and for just a little bit of like this, it's, it's like no noise at all. Just a little bit, but that's camera defect. Okay. So that's pretty much it, right? So less noise. Now you can just decrease the highlight and I'll add a little bit of warmth to it and a little bit of cl clarity, clarity, and probably a little bit of vibrance. 
and we are good to go. Now you can just go forward, edit it, add some effects, maybe brushes and all those stuff. And you can refer other Lightroom tutorials on this channel to see how to go forward with it. But that's one of the best ways to get rid of noise in the shadows. Just remember, capture more than one exposure for you think there's extreme highlights and shadows and then merge them as an HDR. Now, remember the number five, right? Now, in this HDR image, if you take this exposure all the way to the right, look at the number, it's 10 now, right? If you take it to the left, it's minus 10. So, we can see that actually, actually in reality, when we combine this, the dynamic range actually increased. And I was not kidding. That was just a proof. So that's all for this video. I hope this tutorial helped you. And if it did, you already know what to do. Please show us some love and subscribe to this channel. And also, don't forget to hit the bell button so that you don't miss any other future tips, tricks, and tutorials. Please connect with me on Facebook as well because I go live from time to time and we can have a real good conversation over there. Thank you so much for watching. And I would like to take this moment to thank all these nice and amazing people for supporting this channel on Patreon and helping keep Pixel Imperfect free for everybody forever. Thank you for all the support. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.